Hi everyone, welcome back to If My Heart Are Wings, The Twins Root, Episode 3. So we're now in this lake, and we've seen this in the common route before, when Ageha and Aoi launched Katori from the cliff. So basically, they have time. So progress on the glider is going well. The modifications to the revised design that Amane drew on paper. And now that they're ahead of their progress, it's time to take some break. So basically while they're waiting for the resin to harden, let's see how it goes from here. So I wonder how is Yoru? So despite Yoru saying that she does not want to join the club, she still helps out on her own anyways. And when she sees Aoi, she acts like this arrogant person. But when she's not with Aoi or with Asa, well, I'm not really sure. So she did volunteer to help on her own with regards to getting the glider rebuilt. And that was while Asa and Aoi were out walking by the windmills. So anyways... So I think this is the first time Asa has seen this place. So if I have to mention that Yoru sometimes smiles and when she does smile, she looks pretty, and I always commented on it, and it made Yoru blush. And she tried to hide it with her... I'll say her depressing tone. So Asa and Yoru were surprised to see Agiha's special link. It was the secret base where we played as children, and where we came to make memories last year as well. So almost every person we brought here had the same reaction. So I guess it was just as good of a place. So we came here to swim, right? Okay, so if you want to get dressed, you can go over there. Sasa looks startled. Oh yeah, so unlike us wild kids, Asa had grown up in a shelter home. So she's not that comfortable changing clothes out in the open. And there's no restroom or any kind of building to help her. So she wouldn't be used to crude things like changing outside. There you go. Yep, so Hat will be on patrol. Well, then again, Yoru is not part of the club. But your So Katori won't stop Yori from not changing. It's like, um, well, I won't swim. But Katori's like, well, you're a twin, so it makes sense for both of you to be dressed. And it's too bad that you came with us, so. 
強制する権利なんてないでしょぐにゃ。Just as he said. Katori had no right to make Yoru swim. But then Yoru didn't have to come. So come with me. Fine then. So, in the end, it looks like Yoru will be swimming too. And that makes me happy since they were both pleasing to the eye. Okay, so let's go, Asa. So, what are they gonna do now? Okay, so they're going to do that throw off the cliff thing once again, and this time it's for Asa. Asa flew through the sky along with a drawn out scream. And a few seconds later. So, how did it go? She and her scream disappeared together in the middle of a smallish rippling splash. So that was good. Hmm, that might be a new record. But more importantly, Asa survived, so that's good. Yep, says Hat. So, why this? <laughs> well, it's practice to learn what it feels like to fly. I'm sure I would just made it up. So, after changing into our swimsuits, we enjoyed swimming in the lake, but only after Soaring's traditional rite of passage, the Soaring Clubs. And I'm sure I would made that up too. Or maybe Agaha also did. So, just as a lion, king or of the jungle, so pushes its cubs into a valley, we send our junior members from a high rock down into the lake. And we called it the submerging ceremony. Hmm. So, I don't have to do it because I'm not a member. But you can still join, so there's always. Huh? So basically, you can join anytime, and you can join today, right now. So, in secret, you're scared of doing this, and that's why you're trying to act all worked up and getting angry about it and coming up with excuses and. <sighs> Fine then, I'll jump. Just to make you happy. So, y o r put on a float ring around herself, and then, not waiting for anyone to help, she jumped right in. And she did it all by herself. <laughs> so, I was able to convince her, or push her into doing it. Well, I say you lost. So, you're calling. Yoru, a chicken, and she proved herself that she's not one. So, what was she trying to accomplish, anyways? Yoru was younger than her. 
でも天音先輩にも来てほしかったわよね<笑>せっかく可愛い後輩までいるわけだし仕方ないわよ大人は時間と戦う生き物だーとか自慢しちゃってたし I'm sure Mai's busy with her other work so research teaching and So she did want to come though. Well, next time our schedule allows for it. So we can all come together. And Asa Yoru comes back together. Oh, good job, you two. So, how was it? Well, it wasn't that bad after all. It seemed that both of them had enjoyed the experience. Okay, so next let's play some games. Okay, then, so let's play beach volleyball. Or would you rather swim? Okay, so beach volleyball. We finally decided to all play beach volleyball together. So, a little unsteady on her feet in the sand, Katori started us off. Asa just managed to get the ball and send it over to Ageha. Okay, got it. Here, Yoru. The ball had moved along nicely among the rest of us, so I directed it to Yoru. Okay, Tori Senpai. Wait, who's that? Oh, so Katori. So without any hesitation, Yoru sent it. To Katori. So Asa misses. So is Yori going to catch a volleyball that flies too far or somewhere else? Yori ran over to meet the ball's trajectory and skillfully sent it on its way. And apparently, Yori. Is good at sports too. So those two sisters make a good combination. Hmm. So what's the problem now? I felt like I heard a strange sound or something. So what is it? Yoru caught the ball out of the air and held it, stopping the game. So who's around? The grass moves. Wait, over there. Yoru smashed the ball into the grass. And it flew right on target and hit the grass with a lot of power behind it. And I wonder who this guy is. Hmm, a voice. So someone is there. Wait, let's go get him, Aoi. Okay. So, like, the two of us sprung towards the sound in the grass. And we found. Let's see who it is. So, Masasugu. Wait, Mabo. <laughs> I'm sure we know what he was doing. And for some reason, Maba was there. And in his hand. Video camera? Okay, so that provides more evidence that Masasugu is up to no good. That's <laughs> And 
だから可愛らしい皆様の勇姿をカメラに収めようかなとか。That pretty much gives it away. スマッシュいたぶえ暴力反対 !Come on, don't hit me with the volleyball! 大体その情報はどこから入手したのよ So who told you all this? あかりさんがハバネに聞いたって。私あ,あそっかドックも離れての公害活動になるから一応報告しておいたのよね。But then again, they're not doing anything related to the glider, so it should be okay, because they're just doing something else, like an activity. A leisure activity. I see, so, so that's how he knows. So that meant the weird sound I just barely heard earlier was the video camera. つまりエロ目的で私たちを盗撮していたと<笑>私たちの水着を撮影なんてひどきょしてるじゃない Well, you can film me if you want, and then I'll show it to Akari, and we'll see how she responds. アゲハになんて興味ないよ。俺が興味あるのはカザトシマイで。Well, same thing. すばらしい Oh, so you think I don't look good? 暴力
So you seem to be having so much fun. She been constantly smiling all day. Hmm, so was it really that fun? Hmm, so what is the something wonderful? Secret. Ah, uh, so what did Asa see? I followed Asa's gaze and saw Yoru's back. Okay. Well, classical isn't that bad, especially if it's like a huge orchestra kind of music. Like, I don't know, the Rise Spring. So, for once, Dior was chatting with Kotori and Agiha as we walked home. Ah, I see. I begin to understand why Asa was smiling so much. Because she got to see the happier side of Yoru. Yeah. And everything is going smoothly. I really thought that. So this could have been a really difficult time. Actually. Well, for the Soaring Club, you had to solve a lot of problems to keep the club going and to rebuild the glider and do it all in time for Morning Glory. And before we started, I really wondered if we were going to be alright. So we had a tight schedule and some almost impossible looking problems. But somehow, it's all working out. And when I think of it that way, it really is amazing. Well, the good thing is that they have more people now, as opposed to just Amani by herself back when Aoi first found it, along with Katori. Hmm, thanks. Asa gives a triumphant smile. Hmm, so you really do look happy when you're, you smile, Asa. Really? Um, yeah, so just looking at you makes me happy too. It always feels good to see someone smile, and Asa felt even better. And I liked Asa smiling. Um, yes? Uh, hmm. Well, you know, it's not you that's supposed to cook tonight, Asa. So are you concerned about my poor cooking or I do things wrong? Well, it's true that her cooking has improved lately. So much that it was hard to believe she ever washed vegetables with soap. So that was in the very beginning when Asa wanted to help and Kanako encouraged her to speak up. And when Asa did, she was washing vegetables like she was washing dishes. And I would have to help Asa. And then Yoru got upset and actually barged in at the end. So is it bad? No, no, no. Well then, thanks. So Asa is still happy. So, 
something could happen? いいことがありつづけるみたいな感じかな。何それ。今日もそうだったけどね。最近毎日が楽しいの。何でもうまくいきそうというか、何でもうまくやれそうというか。まるで空でも飛べそうな気分。うん。つまり調子に乗ってる
私が葵先輩のことを好きだなんて恐れ多いよ葵先輩のような素敵な先輩だから姉さんは変に遠慮するところがダメなんだってそもそもあいつのどこがそんなに素敵なんだかってあれ And Yori kind of finds herself lost. Like, so he was asking, What's good about Ayoi Simba, anyways? And then, Hmm, well, maybe this. So, on second thought, Hmm, there might be some good stuff about Ayoi Simba. So. So the sorting club had been going so well, but the next day I noticed the first sign of a storm cloud. It had been going so well, so smoothly. But apparently, we've been foolish to believe it could last any more than a sugar and candy castle. So, what happened now? So, she was like, I'm going to go to the house. And why is Asa apologizing? And why is Asa apologizing? Well, it looks that way. Ah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the So, the stiffening agent we needed for the next step in the construction hadn't arrived, so we could not continue. And the reason for that is. So, what did Asa do wrong? So, Asa messed up the order. Okay. She offered to make it a list of supplies and order them from Anchan. あんまり気にすることはないわよ今までの進行が順調すぎたくらいなんだから多少の遅れくらいどうとでもなるわけだし、so、basically, don't worry, we can wait. そうだね逆にこのくらいでないとスリルも出ないかもまあ他にやれることだって多少はあるしなそっちから進めておくといいんじゃないか So, I like Amani's suggestions. Like, well, we can work on other things while we wait for the hardening substance to arrive. See, Asa, so it's okay. You don't have to feel so bad about it. <laughs> And with that, Asa leaves the dock. Should I go with her? Or maybe I should try to comfort her? No, it would probably be better to let her be alone. That's true. And even for Genius Amane, she makes mistakes too. Hmm, so does Asa get depressed really easily? And I try asking Yoru. So, I've caused too much trouble for everyone.
So if you fly high, you'll fall. So even though Asa is upset, I don't think she should take it upon herself that hard because just because you forget to or like you ordered the wrong resin or the wrong part, that's not going to stop the project completely. And plus they still have time before the morning glory comes. And like they said, they're ahead of the project and there are other things that they can do while they wait. And this is going to be even worse than making the mistake itself. So I learned that as a child that it was a fact about humans who have no wings. However, humans are born with wings and can fly freely, or superior humans, through the sky. So even if they get carried away, they can still fly. And the higher they get, the more energy they seem to have, and they dance gracefully through the atmosphere. But I'm just an ordinary person with no wings. Well, I am... I'll fall. I always fall. Hmm... So now I always back in his room. And I wonder if Asa's okay. She seemed really depressed. And it's true she made a mistake, but it really wasn't something to make a big deal about. That's true. And if she's working herself up too much about it, I want to cheer her up. And I think I'll go check on her. Okay, so will Asa respond? So, are you there? Nani? So, Yori answers. Um, I was just wondering if Asa is in there. Nope. Huh? Wait, not there? It was already past 10. I think she went over there. So, What's there? Okay, so Asa went to the dock by herself. Senpai. She really is there. And just as Yoru has said, Asa is in the secret base. Her eyes are red and swollen as though she'd been crying. So why are you here? Well, Yori said you'd probably be here. She actually said that Asa is probably either here or at Windmill Hill. Well, that's kind of like the same place because the secret base is on top of Windmill Hill. Her voice sounded a little hoarse. And I wonder how long she had been crying here by herself. Are you okay? Well, I feel better now. <laughs> Hopefully. So Asa, she was trying to look brave. But there is still tears in the corners of her eyes. ここに来ることがあるんです。家の空気に疲れた時とか悲しいことがあった時とか何か悩み事があった時とか一人になりたい時とか帰りは風車を眺めて帰ります。そして明日からはまた頑張ろうって。Well, I'm sorry, so did I interrupt you? No, 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 I'm, I'm happy you're here. And the most important fact is that you came here. 
Well, I told you so many times already. But you didn't cause any trouble, okay? So it wasn't a big deal, and everyone makes mistakes. Even a my senpai. <laughs> So Asa feels that. So Asa feels that. Well, I fail at everything, and it just continues to add up. Wait, too many. So basically, I can never do anything right. So you mean you're a perfectionist? Well, I'm sure that's not true, but you're like, well, or for us, it's like, well, I want to at least accomplish something on my own without having to get help or stumble. Asa seems very sensitive to everything in life. And whether or not she is a perfectionist, she seemed very highly strong. So, failing, Asa nods. Hmm, so this time you feel the same way. だいたい well, everyone gets carried away sometimes, and I, I do too. Well, like um, when I fail, I fail miserably, and for other people, if they fail, they always have some way to pick it back up. Or they can always backtrack and not experience too much loss. Well, Asa, she must have some sort of complex. And listening to her, I realized that she blamed herself and sometimes hated herself. <laughs> おじいちゃんもおばあちゃんも親戚のおじいちゃんもおばあちゃんもその家の子も私の周りってみんな頭が良くてすごくて何でもできてでも私はうん well i'm not asa so it would be impossible for me to understand her fully but from what i could tell there were just too many people who excelled gathered around her. And maybe her rich family only seemed to be similar in to others, but was really a different world. So perhaps it was an environment with where an average person was more conspicuous. <laughs> そういうものに皆みたいに高く飛びたいって思ったから。ソーリングブに憧れたのはそんな空に憧れる自分だからこそ適応できる。そんな場所を見つけられるって。
思えたから心から熱中してるものも大切なものも私には何もなかったからだからその夢くらい見つけたくてそんな時にグライダーでだからだから So that's why、um, Sansa just wanted to find a dream. An environment where she could find wings of her own and where she could work hard towards the goal. Okay, that makes sense. So the biggest problem is that Asa is in a rich family and everyone has their talents and accomplishments compared to Asa, who's like this average person. And Asa is trying to find something. That can make her a fit to the rest of the family. So, one thing that she could bring in, and she's hoping to use the glider, the soaring club, the dreams as a way to add to her rich family. And when she finally found that dream, she worked hard and thought things were going well, but then she made a mistake. So it hurt her even more than before. It's like, well, I was hoping to work on this glider, but I made a huge mistake with this order, and now my track record is damaged. <laughs> so I could only guess at what she was feeling, but. Well, I think it's okay. <laughs> Really? Well, I think it's okay for you to worry about that. To get sad when you make a mistake. To be bad at handling failure. But as long as you can keep moving forward a little at a time. I... Senpai. Well, I mean, I don't really understand exactly what's upsetting you so much, but I think everyone has their own reactions to things. And that's why. I want to help you. So, is it okay? Um, well, I'm sure you'll find what you're good at. And what's important is you. So, even if you don't know now, even if you feel like you're losing to those around you, why,、well, I lost my own dream once before, but I'm working hard again now. And I'm sure I'll make mistakes again in the future. And of course, that'll keep happening, so I think getting upset like this is something that will happen a lot. But I want to cheer you up. So he pats and strokes Asa again. And hopefully it helps. Okay, so cheer up a little, okay? And if you make another mistake sometime and feel bad about it, I'll listen to what you have to say if you let me do so. So, as I said, nobody's mad at you. <laughs> so, hopefully, Asa feels better now. So, how can I explain it? When Asa burst out into tears once more at this point, she was so fragile, so brave, and so vulnerable. And I felt that I had an obligation to protect this girl. Okay, so Asa feels better and she can go home now. So, what took you so long? It's almost midnight. Uh, well, Kanako,、uh, Yoru. So, when we got back to the dorm, the two of them were waiting for us. But, anyways, I'm happy that my sister or sis came home. Um, So, Kanako, you notice we were gone? So, Kanako saw what happened. 
and did ask Yoru as well. Well, thank you, um, Kanako. Um, yes. Well, that's all good. She looked at Asa's face and smiled brightly. So Asa's eyes were hugely swollen from crying so long, making quite a pitiful sight. But she also somehow looked fresh and clear, like a sky after the rain has passed. しかし朝ちゃん、辛いことがあったのはわかるけど、夜中に女の子の一人歩きは危ないでしょ。あ、それは。Well、辛いことがあって一人になりたいってのはわかるけど、こんな夜中に女の子が外を出歩くのは非常
I'm also wondering how the other boarders will feel about having spicy food for breakfast, especially for Yoru. Hmm, but tofu is healthy, or maybe that didn't matter. Well, also I was looking at a large variety of Chinese miso flavors. And I think it's true, most foods, but for mapo tofu especially, there is a huge difference in the flavor. And if you make it from scratch instead of from a packet, so no matter how little I actually used each one, I had a good collection of seasonings for Chinese dishes like that tofu. Hmm, but each other one has a very different flavor. So using this effectively is the secret to Chinese cooking. So Asa looks interested. Okay, so what happened now? So anyways, I'm going to leave the rest to the next episode, and we'll see what kind of dishes or how is Asa's cooking. So I would comment that Asa has improved a lot since the very beginning when she was washing vegetables like she's washing dishes. But more importantly, we kind of see that Asa really wants to have some accomplishment in her hands, and that's why she's afraid of making a mistake. A mistake because that would ruin her accomplishment or like her record at building this achievement. And for Asa, it's like making the glider and being able to soar through the sky in all those dreams. And also for Yoru, we kind of see some of her happier side. So she is smiling a bit more in this episode. And we can see that when she was thanking Aoi for helping her bring Asa back from the secret base in the middle of the night. And obviously, your would blush. It's like, well, I don't really mean much. I'm just saying thank you. But hopefully, uh, Yoru will open up a bit more and not be all arrogant like what we've seen her as. For this entire time, even from the common route when we were officially first introduced to the twins. So, with that in mind, I'll see you later.